everybody, Victor Alpha 5, Mike Uniform Delta, and today, as promised, I'm going to share with you something I've made, something that everyone else, well, everybody in the world's made. If you're a ham, you probably made a JPO. There's lots out there. I've made a couple different versions. I made a, one out of copper, I made some out of wire, and you know, there's something that I do use a lot, and I use a lot of this, and you've probably seen this on the internet. Buddy of mine, Simon, Victor Alpha 7, probably in the x-ray, loves this stuff. We all love this stuff. People are asking us about it, and there's no secret to it. It is one awesome material to build antennas of, out of. Um, like Simon does, he puts it on tarps. Um, I put it on poles, I put it on, you know, I hung them up in the trees, I've stuck them to fences. I've been using this stuff for a while. A lot of people have, it's no, it's no secret, but, I wanted to do something with this to show you how easy it is to make a, a J-pole antenna out of this. And super portable, super light, and very, very affordable. You're not going to be spending hundreds of dollars on making this. You can buy the stuff at your hardware store. And it is cheap and it's tough. Like, it is I broke it. Well, I was pulling the crap out of it, so don't blame me. It 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 does a lot. I mean, it'll tear if you want it to, whatever. It it's it's cheap, inexpensive, but it works. It, so what if it lasts you a couple activations or whatever you want to do? I mean, if it if it breaks, just tape it. <laughs> like you don't have to sew it. You don't have to rivet it. You don't have to get special glue for it. It already has glue on the back because it's tape. Duh, right? This. Stuff works awesome. So, j pole tape, what are we gonna do? Well, my first thing, I'm gonna just grab this over here. Here's something I had a lot of. Had some toe strap. Actually, it's not a toe strap. This is a, this is a ratchet strap, sorry, pardon me. So, this strap, I have tons of this stuff. I, I'm, you know, I uh, put it in my Jeep, my truck strap stuff down check this out on this side I decided to tape on a piece of tape and guess what there is your J-pole antenna on a strap I've used these little clips here and I clipped them on I just well crap my pants I clipped them on and I got like a 1.3 to 1 on it hit my repeater easily from inside the garage I was like holy crap that is awesome but this is kind of ugly and it's a strap and I was like you know what 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 could I use you know this this does the job but let's do something better right so where are you just don't go anywhere probably saw these before yeah the lawn chair I made made a contact to Australia from Canada with this and you know what I was at a garage sale and I picked this guy up for a couple bucks future antenna so I said hey do you hey buddy you want you want something else I got this in the in the corner and uh, so yeah sure what do you got he's like I got replacement webbing for you and I bought this now, now we are rolling, man. Look at this. I got this for two bucks. Two bucks for this, like a lot of webbing to fix the chairs. But I'm like, you know what? What if I took this webbing, which is like super light and strong? Like, I mean, it's, this stuff's really strong. I mean, I probably wouldn't tow a truck with it, but it's strong. It'll hold my big ass up on it in a lawn chair, so probably like probably four or five across, but anyway, it's strong. So why don't I take that? Take this and now the Pringles can has nothing to do with it, but it fits in a Pringles can. We got ourselves. A rollable J-pole and 
On top of that, at the top, 3D printed a little hook. This is a, a guitar, I, I oversized it. I'm gonna put some of the stuff in the comments, an adjuster. Now, I wasn't too happy with this little guy. It's kind of, I don't know, look at it. It's all, where's the camera? Kind of broken there. It's stupid, I don't know. Not a, I'm gonna like, screw it. We don't need that. Let's do something super cool. Now, pardon my soldering skills, but I made a pickup point. And with this, hang it up on the top here. With this, I can adjust my SWR up and down. That's how you tune a J pole. You make your contact point on there. Not only can you do a very, very accurate adjustment, you could also use this as a multiband and it will tune up on 70 centimeters. So there you go. You got a multiband J pole that fits in somewhere over there, half a Pringles can. Here's the other half. Fits in half a Pringles can, weighted in at two ounces. Take these two points right here. I'm just using this little connector and I'll connect it on. And you got yourself a, a rollable J pole antenna. <laughs> it's hard to say that all the time, but that's how it's done. And as a bonus feature for this video, what I'm going to do, we're going to make one. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to make one. Super easy. Uh, get your kids involved, get whoever you want. You could build this. All you need is a few simple tools and we'll show you. Stay tuned. All right, guys, try to get this all in the frame here. So here we got our sample one right here. We got the, the webbing. You could use whatever you want. I'm using lawn chair webbing, whatever strapping you have, or you could find on Amazon or at the local hardware store. I cut this to 69 inches. I don't know why. Just a just a, a number I know in the back of my brain. So we got um, 69 inches on the, this is the, the actual tin tape, metal tape, whatever, foil tape, whatever you want to call it. I cut it to about 57 and a half inches long. And I drew out with marker this part right over here, 19 inches. The good thing about this is you could cut and adjust it. So this is a good starting point. So let's get started on this. What we're going to do is we're going to cut this out. And like I said, the good thing about all this, if you do screw up, you can start it again. Not gonna cost you a fortune. Now I cut so super straight here. Another option you could do if you don't want to use scissors is you could just put the tape on, which you did on the other one, and I used an X-Acto knife, utility knife, just to cut out the pattern on the webbing. There is a chance you will cut the webbing though, but Again, the webbing's not really that much money anyway, so. So hopefully we're getting this in the shot here. Like that. Take off the end. All right. There we are. Okay, we're gonna start on this end here. The thing that helps to get everything rolling is to find some tape. I know a guy who has some tape. <laughs> it's taped down the end here, so you got a place to hold it. And we're gonna pick up our tin tape here. On this guy, I gave myself about six inches, so whatever, give or take. You want to give yourself enough room so you could put on a clamp or something on the end let's see here where we go we'll make it almost identical start over here okay take this guy out of the way rip this off now don't get upset if you rip it because it's so easy to fix you want to pull it nice and straight so you don't have any blinds on it i'm going to stick this down Crazy, we're gonna get her. Continue with this. So 
I'll move it over so to keep it in the frame. All right. I'm just gonna pull the tape back, the back end right off the thing. I'm gonna pull it straight. And yeah, take the wheels. this stuff is this stuff is sticky. Don't worry if you're centered or not. It doesn't matter. This is a project. You want it to look like a project, right? Like I always say, you don't want to look to make it look like you bought it. Make it look like you made it. That's the whole secret to this stuff. You look like you bought it, no one's gonna appreciate it. All right. Oh man, that is great. Okay. Then we're gonna take the top part. And we're gonna lace her through. And we're gonna make it look just like this. Now you can also drop it. You can also print off one of these with the double nectar in it, but I was really easy. I just found this one on the internet and printed it off. So do whatever you want to do. What we're gonna be doing is going in sorry through this one. We're gonna go up through this. Right to the end where the tinfoil is. Back around. Through here. And loosen this up a little bit. Just like so. And there's your top part. Now, to the second part, take this tape. There's another thing. This is, this is the original one. This BNC with the binding post. And I used these ground straps. I basically looped them around, soldered them together, and uh, they made them fit into this. That's one way you could do it. It works pretty good because it has a good contact patch. On this one, I'm going to try something a little different. I took this cutoff plug and I just simply wrapped the coax part of the shield and part of the center conductor around it and soldered it. So let's see how this one works. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it in so that it's like this. Take off this tape. So, we need to go like this, under and over. There, that's our content. Now, we want to see if we're making a contact. So, like I showed you before on my multimeter, plug it in, make sure your leads are working. Do we have continuity into... Yes, we do. And do we have continuity into this? Of course we do, because we got both of them touching together now. So, we are working zero resistance right through now we're ready to put this on the analyzer and test it all right guys i got it all set up i got it hanging inside the garage now this is not an ideal test to do swr inside your garage but hey it's a j pole it could do anything so i got it hanging here and
you could fold it up and down, peel it back, move it around. And on the top here, you could also shorten and lengthen it really easily. So I just use it by folding it over. And doing all that does change characteristics of the antenna. Well, that's what all the fun part about building the antenna is, is experimenting. And this is a great way to make yourself a J-pole. Cheap and easy and super fun. All right, guys. Well, thanks for joining me. That's how it's done. I'm going to be doing some field testing with it in the near future here. I've already done a, a few hits on the repeater. And um, it's uh, I've gotten great reviews on it. So stay tuned. We'll be having some more, some more fun with this in the upcoming weeks. Hey, for now, I'm VA5MED. Please subscribe and like and send me threes.